Hey guys, did you miss me? I've been gone like a couple days and yeah, it was uh, a fun, busy month. When I say busy, it was busy because of all the videos I had to do. Um, but honestly, like it wasn't that bad filming them every single day. Um, mostly just because I don't have to decide what I'm going to be talking about every video. I just sort of turn on the camera and ramble. Um, so that's kind of, to be honest, like the reason I decided to do the one month in my bullet journal is because I felt like I was running out of ideas um, and I wanted a chance to sort of reset, accumulate some ideas um, because really I'm, I'm sandbagging. I'm actually focusing really hard right now in my YouTube prep um, on getting ahead of the schedule because as you know, um, I'm expecting in early July. So um, from the time, like by then I wanna have all of my videos up through the end of like my maternity leave scheduled and ready to upload, like, or they'll be uploaded and scheduled and ready to go out. So um, you will start to notice come late June, early July and onward, um, things may seem a bit idiosyncratic, um, may seem a bit like they don't make sense temporarily, and I might repeat myself a couple times um, or do things that may seem out of order. I'm trying my best to um, to not let that happen and be let it be too weird, but basically things will be filmed in advance. But as for April, I don't know if you noticed, but I was kind of distracted for the latter half of the month by um, sort of a secret little bit of I'm I'm changing my planner setup I'm actually currently in a different planner from this one and I don't want to show you too much because I'm sandbagging and it's not fair I know I'm I know but you will see it in July <laughs> starting in July will be the process of you know setting it up and transitioning to using it and I've been filming all of those clips during June between filming clips for one month in my bullet journal so it's not even fair for me to be telling you about it um, I definitely don't want to give you details because I feel like it's just going to make things complicated and not fair um, because I'm not going to be showing that new planner for the next couple months um, until July when I said I'll be setting it up and showing you how it, it works for me um, the videos for the next couple months are going to be more generic thoughts and ramblings about planning as an idea. Um, among other things, a couple requested videos are in there, so look forward to that. If you post any requests in the comments now, I definitely appreciate those um, and we'll keep them in mind, but won't get to actually have a chance to use them until like September. So if you post requests and ideas for videos, please do, but just know that there's going to be a delay. I know you can tell I'm really sweaty right now. The weather is suddenly picked up and it's starting to look a bit more like summer now. And I think it kind of mirrors what's going on in life. Like April was pretty chill, um, both weather-wise and in my schedule. Um, but May is just really kicking off into gear. We have like so many different evening things happening and like fall through spring, summer stuff is like ending. And then we have all these classes on top of it. We're getting ready for the baby. It's, and then it's my last week or sorry, my last month at work. So everything's just happening all at once and it's super crazy. But, um, April, I think was a pretty good month to do the one month, my bullet journal. Cause it allowed me, um, my schedule was free enough that I was allowed to sort of play around, um, with the format and stuff. I enjoyed trying out different weeklies that I had not done in a while or didn't do, um, ever before and just kind of some different ideas um, that was pretty cool I hope you guys enjoyed that too maybe got some ideas on how to do your weeklies I know that we all have different needs and what goes in a weekly and that can vary from week to week as we saw with my April like that last week was crazy but not much of it was in my actual planner because it wasn't like my stuff I was getting done it was my sister's stuff but now things are getting crazy with May and um, I kind of am appreciating the privacy of my planner right now after having it very public for a whole month. Um, I'm appreciating the fact that whatever I write in right now is completely personal and I can just not have to worry about how it's going to look on camera um, or whether it's something that you know is private data that shouldn't be shared or whatever. Um, but I think that's a topic for another video that's coming up too. Um, anyway, I just wanted to say thank you guys to everybody who uh, watched those videos, who tuned in, who subscribed. I got a lot of new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Um, 
And to those of you who commented a few out of those days, it was really great to see that you were following along and supporting me on that experiment. Um, I will definitely consider doing another one month in my bullet journal in the future, but it's not going to be right away, obviously. Looking forward to, you know, having the, a break from the daily filming, which was, like I said, it, less um, mentally taxing, but still quite a lot of work. Um, and that's just about it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, I post videos three times a week, so I will see you guys in the next one on Tuesday. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.